Hello Viva MK, fantastic to see you all again. Um, thank you for joining me one day earlier than normal because it's become very customary to um, have a Viva MK update at midday on a Thursday, but this week I thought I'd shake things up a bit because there's so much excitement, such a buzz in the business, and of course much news to talk about to share with you. So um, where, can I possibly begin? I mean, we had forecasts and we have targets and we have goals and we have aspirations of where I wanted this business to be in the first few months. Myself and my fellow directors had those aspirations and many that I've shared with some of the leaders within our network. Um, I don't think any one of us could have envisaged one of two things. One is the outstanding success that we've already seen, and I'll explain that to you in a minute, because when you talk about success, what is one comparing it to? You know, I've got nothing to compare this to, because it's a first-time venture in a first-time possible way. And secondly, of course, some of the roadblocks that have constantly been in the way, which I guess when you're doing something so new, so untested, so without a track record, there are going to be occasions and times when things just don't go to plan. And I think that's become my middle name. Michael, just don't go to plan cat car. But you know what? It's not about that. It's how you circumnavigate around it and how you deal with it. Now, in the business I worked in before, why do I just say business? In Clean Easy, I had a number of leaders and it's not a criticism about anybody, but I just want to be really straight with you. There was this whole area of people that believed that people should be kept in the dark, that they shouldn't be told exactly how it is, that you should disguise the general truth from them. So when you're having a bad time, never tell them. Always say it's good. See, I don't believe in that. I truly believe that if we have an outstanding time, I will tell you so. But you know what, at the same time, if we have a bad time, I will also tell you so, why wouldn't I? I don't want anybody to ever feel in the dark. I remember being publicly berated in my early days in Clean Easy because I had shed some detail that people didn't want other people to know. I think it was possibly distributor numbers at the time. Well, I'm sorry, that era of not being transparent is over and done with. If you have to hide detail, of course that isn't commercially sensitive, from people that are the lifeblood of your business, you have got something wrong. I'm sorry, you're in the wrong business. I want to, as much as I humanely can, share any detail with you that I possibly can. The good news, the bad news, the indifferent news. It's only that way you are going to feel fully and truly engaged in the partnership that I want to be a part of. This was an attempt to have a go at so-called leaders from the past. That, that really is history. I don't give a damn about that. My point is we are no longer in that era. Today, people are the currency. It's all about people and it's nothing else. Listen, our business today with so little marketing, with absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing except the goodwill and faith of people, we've created what we have. And that's all it's been, goodwill and the faith of people. People took a leap of faith into this business without knowing what the hell was going on. Some of us still don't know what the hell's going on, but people took that leap of faith. If people were willing to do that on the back of one Facebook live announcement on the 8th of June, then I will give people exactly what they deserve. And that's the partnership they joined up into. No more keeping in the dark, no more treating people like they're stupid. The real leadership, the real currency is people. You took that fee for the leap of fee, um, you took that leap of faith and you get the same back from me. And like I said, thousands of people joined when they didn't even know what they were actually joining and what they were becoming part of. That's what I call faith. That's what I call the true currency of leadership. So where are we? 
So I promised you, of course, there'd be updates this week and the system would update itself and we'd get our commissions closed off. Do you know, we're still trying to get on track to pay the commissions on time, which should be towards the end of this week, but watch this space. Now, there have been challenges. There's been upload problems. There have been software breakages. But the thing is, the reason I didn't release all the information exactly when I should, because I need it to be 100% accurate. Never want anybody to feel they've been done over. Never want anybody to feel that they've been wronged. So it's got to be 100% accurate. So you just have to bear with me a little longer whilst we still deal with our corporation who are building the software and who have had their own fair share of mistakes where this is concerned and it's not about pointing fingers ultimately i'm in charge and i will take all the responsibility for that like i've always told you that i will um but we have had software challenges you will get to find your figures very very soon we're still working on it today way past that it should have been period ended on at midnight on sunday i was expecting it will be fixed on Monday. Um, then, of course, now it's Wednesday at midday when I was going to bring you tons and tons and tons of recognition news, which I knew I know there already is. We have had a tremendous amount of people recognized within this plan. And I would say, and I will confirm this when the time is right, we, and listen to this very, very carefully, listen to my words very, very carefully, I would say that for a brand new launch of a brand new network marketing company, for the first time in the UK, that is UK owned and UK based, that doesn't have the huge backup of an international firm or has their products manufactured abroad, that mostly is done from the UK here and run from the UK by a handful of people, the recognition and success that you have created in those first few weeks of the network marketing plan going live is probably probably, listen to these words carefully, the greatest initial success that any company has ever seen in this country today. Listen to that carefully. We're a brand new company. We had no backup. We had no foundation except the goodwill and the faith of people. That goodwill, that faith, a few systems and some products all thrown together in a network marketing plan that I wrote myself with its various software engineering challenges, we have still probably created more recognition and success in our six weeks of that network marketing plan being live in probably a lot less than that, more than anybody has ever achieved. And I'd love somebody to challenge me on that because I don't think you will be able to. Remember, UK owned, UK based, UK opened, no subsidiary of a bigger company. This is it, this is us, this is all there is. There's me, a handful of us at head office who are the, probably the uh, an amazing team that get everything done. And then there's you, the people who took that faith, leap of faith. So that's where I am. Yeah, we're still not quite there. We will get there, of course, we'll just bear with me. Remember, I said that I want to try and always remain transparent. Of course, this week hasn't gone the way that I wanted to. I didn't want it like this. But do I want to get it right? Of course I do. And when we don't get it right, I don't want to put it right. The point is, it's so much easier when you have people inside and when you tell them exactly what there is. I don't have anything to hide. None of us have anything to hide. We'll always be as fully transparent as possible. I just want you to carry on supporting us the way you have done. You took that leap of faith. I won't let you down. You know, the, the, the software is still having its challenges. It's still being fixed. You know, your um, success in that sales plan will be based on exactly the way that I wrote it. There will be no change to that, absolutely no change to that. You'll be able to work out all your own figures. The new website will be fully migrated. We're hoping that will all finish this week as well. Um, and you know, this end of period shenanigans was only ever going to happen once. You know, it's only once at the end of the first period that it could possibly happen. And there's no one to blame, there really isn't. This was fully expected and there's not much you can do until it's tested the way that we have tested it live with your live data in there. So as far as success goes, I think we've had a tremendous time. You can see that in the recognition on Facebook. Do you know what's so outstanding? And I'm not in competition with anybody. 
I don't compete with people, I compete with myself because I want to be better than before. I don't have competition, I don't do competition. But I have to say that you and your announcements and your recognition have wiped the slate clean out there in the social media land. All I see is Viva NK, and that's because you're having that success. That's true success. And you know what? If we do ever have a downtime, I'll tell you. If we keep having success, I'll tell you, but I'll always be open and I'll always be honest with you. And I have to be, and we'll keep it that way. No more hiding the truth. No more, um, you know, keeping people in the dark because people are the currency. It's people that took that leap of faith and it's people that have put us where we are right this minute. So that's that. A um, lot more news there to come and I'll keep you updated as this week goes by. But we are honestly just minutes and hours away from getting to where we want to. And as I said, it's only going to happen once, just at the end of the first period. And I appreciate all the support you've given. And just so you know where numbers are concerned, um, our total in commission payout so far, whether it's front-end commission or whether it's bonuses, will in fact in our very short time equal over a quarter of a million pounds. That is what will be put or has been put mostly into people's pockets from this tiny little business that you came on board because of a leap of faith. Quarter of a million pounds, which means people are better off by that much money. By that much money for the effort you've put in and what we've created together, you are quarter of a million pounds better off. Um, if, if nothing else, that in itself is an app absolute huge statement of success and we will shout that from the rooftops and we have the actual numbers and the actual recognition of all the people I guarantee you we will shout that from the rooftops not just to wipe away the competition we don't have any we're not competing I don't want to compete with anybody like I said I just want to be a better version of what we have been and what we were yesterday that's all we ever want to do so now I always promise you products. Um, so I, I'm going to do very much the same today. If you remember, last week I launched these throws and they're just about to come. Um, that you're just about to see those if you haven't seen them already. There's various throws coming your way. Again, you know, it is about products. It's trying to get quality products at good prices and that's what we're trying to do. So those will really sell. Um, then, of course, if you keep watching online, um, if you keep watching the online site, you will see these products. I don't quite know what they are, but I think the team at Head Office have cleverly written it in a way where you can see it in reverse writing. So we've got these products coming Coming up and apparently you can put your pictures in them you can even if you'd want to hang your toiletries from the wall actually hang toiletries from your wall I don't quite know who hangs toiletries from the wall but they are for that so these you will see very soon big huge picture frames but again a, a trending product for this season and I guarantee that it will actually sell so watch out for that but it doesn't stop there I was always accused in the past of never being in time for um, serious calendar events like, for example, Halloween, which is nearly upon us apparently. So we have some, considering the makeup has done so well, and it really has, even though we had from the outset about nine items out of stock, which I do believe are now back. The makeup did so well, we're obviously going to extend those ranges as time goes by. We'll extend that because it's doing so well. However, for Halloween, take a look at this. Spe spectacular, or spooktacular Halloween makeup, which again, you will see in the coming week. Just check within a week and that will be online. Um, again, which I do believe we are way ahead of anybody else getting it out there. But it's not just that. There's a new additions range coming out as well, which again, you'll see very soon. The Beauty Book additions, new colours, um, new lipsticks and just generally new products coming out because if something does well, what you do, you get more of it. And I really do think this range is really going to sell. So that's something to look forward to. But you know, we try 
and always listen to what you say. And the amount of people that have mentioned jewellery, that we should sell jewellery. Or what do you think? Should we be selling jewellery? Should we try it? You know, the beauty of a company our size is that we can try almost anything. We can try and sell anything, we can do anything, we can take the business in any direction we want to without any more than a few conversations at head office and it's done just like that. So, you said you wanted to see jewellery ranges. Well, believe it or not, there's jewellery ranges coming. Again, give it a few days. I would say at some point next week, you'll start seeing them, even if it may even be this week. But I'll show you in a moment the kind of jewellery we're going to sell. But just bear this in, mind, this in mind. It's not about the jewellery that's so important. What's important is that we were able to do it so quickly. Because when you're a company like ours, you can make some very, very quick decisions. And I mean very, very quick. You can make some very quick decisions and you can change the direction of the product very quickly. So the jewelry is going to be like this. Here's some of the jewelry ranges. And you know, I don't get it myself, but apparently unicorns are totally in vogue. So that's the kind of jewelry that you will be getting very, very soon. Good quality jewelry, um, which I do believe is going to particularly sell well. Um, and it is good quality, and I've got a sample to show you in a minute. But you wanted it, and we have got it. Um, it's, the quality is exceptional, and here's an example of it. All comes um, gift wrapped. Um, gift packaged so you can see it is very very good quality and that will be coming within within the week i'd say within the week amongst everything else that's going on today that will be coming uh, coming in within the week um but that is actually very good quality and i do believe it will have a huge market for us and you know what if it doesn't we'll go on to something else because that's what we can do. Why do we have to be limited to one kind of product? Why do we have to be limited to one kind of range? If there's something we've learned, it really is that we can adapt, we can be flexible, and we can go in any direction we want from salt lamps to elephant duvets to feather dusters. And I'm still getting um, recommendations of what I should do with those. Thank you for those, very much appreciated. Um, from feather dusters to jewellery to throws, even to, of course, Christmas hats, which I launched last week. Why you'd want to look like a Christmas pudding, I will never know. But these we launched last week. And as you know, um, they will be very, very popular. The point is, isn't the fact that they're hats that's not the point. The point is, is that we can be that flexible. I'm not too sure about this one here, but this one um, is another hat, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but the point is, it's about flexibility, it's about adaptability. So just to sum up, yes, your product ranges are going to keep getting bigger and better. You've got new catalogues coming your way anyway. We're trying to cater for both sides of the business. You've got a bedding flyer that will be in every single order. Um, I do believe the bedding flyers are already in. If not, they're just about to come in. As, as with everything, there's always a delay um, for getting things in. Uh, you know, suppliers do promise certain times and sometimes there's a delay, but you will get 50 bedding flyers in every single order you place. And that means if you place four orders over four weeks, each order will have 50 bedding flyers until stocks last. And the, again, bedding's, bedding has been such a massive hit for us. It really has been selling. So. To sum it up, yes, I will stay as transparent as I possibly can because you took that leap of faith and for that I and the organisation owes you everything. You came on board when you didn't even know what the hell we were going to do. That's what I call the proper currency of leadership and that's one thing we have got that I do not believe anybody else has in the industry today. A business where people will have come on board without even knowing what was going to happen. That is incredible. That was worth notating today only to make the point that 
that deserves all the transparency, partnership, spirit and growth that it deserves. And I guarantee you that's what we have, which then led me on to saying, oh yes, of course, there's been challenges this week. We're still working on it. You'll all be notified exactly where we're going. But as far as recognition is concerned, I can categorically tell you, and again, for the second or third time, mark my words, I don't believe anybody, any organisation that has been originated in the way that we have from a leap of faith has created the kind of recognition that we are about to stumble upon. And you know what? We don't have competition, but you still wipe the floor clean in social media. It's all out there. People are seeing the name. And look, they may not all be active, but our distributor numbers are rising by the second. I can categorically tell you that target that I had has already been reached. We have 5,000 people on our books today. 5,000 distributors registered with Viva MK. Okay, they're not all active yet. So let's just bear that in mind. This is what I mean about transparency. It's okay saying 5,000, but it's activity rates that are most important. 5,000 people on the books, but it means as a percentage and a ratio, we'll get the equal amounts that will be active. So the business is responding very well. You're responding very well. There's a few more roadblocks you've got to get through. So all I can do is thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your support and your energy and your enthusiasm. And together that makes for that anticipation to be there. And as far as um, hats are concerned, and I know you're thinking he should really put that on because I know how you think. You're thinking he should put that bloody hat on. Well, do you know what? It's been such an amazing week so far. I will put this hat on. Just say goodbye to you. So have a fantastic week. We'll catch you very soon. Watch out for those numbers. Thank you for the recognition. Let's keep building this business. It's all about spirit, growth and partnership. And here's two very strange hats. Take care, everybody. See you soon.